Hey, this is Marcus with Marcus Coker Design, and I'm here in Oak Ridge, Tennessee at my sister's house, who just helped me, and I helped her redo my little nephew's room. He's eight years old, and this room that we're sitting in right now used to be lavender, not his favorite color, but he does love red, which he calls eye-piercing red, and my sister does not love, uh, but she's pretty cool, so she agreed to do most of his room in tan. This is called Basewood from Bayer. And then another wall, which you'll see in a moment, in a red, a muted red, maybe a little bit brighter than she thought, called uh, Hot Couture, also Bayer. So um, I'm just gonna show you a few things that we did. He loves Mickey. Uh, so we've got Mickey Mouse uh, just about everywhere in the room. Uh, this is his bed. I think my sister's going to look for a different bedspread, but it's pretty cool as it is. And she got these new blinds, uh, which just roll up. Uh, they're pretty cool. Um, also red and tan, so it kind of ties everything together. I redid this letter, found this letter at a uh, cool store here in Knoxville, and uh, rewired it, put some rope lights on the inside, and plugged it up so it kind of acts like a nightlight, and he loves it. Um, so anyway, he did this cool Lego thing so that he can turn the lights on and off. Uh, totally his creation. And then uh, here we are coming up on the red wall. Uh, this is my sister's old dresser that she had when we were growing up. And this is a lamp that I redid for him. It had uh, just was like plain wood and no shade. Uh, so anyway, so we spray painted it red and rewired it because the socket was broken. And uh, this is a frame that my sister had when we were growing up. She put a Mickey mickey guy in it uh, this is the cleanest his room has ever been <laughs> and maybe ever will be but anyway this is a cool little area uh, where the tan and the red all kind of come together uh, it took about three days to paint the room uh, just kind of two days to paint it and then do some touch up and then the third day to like there was this little corner where the red and the tan came together that was real um, problematic so anyway but we got it all done and then over here we have his shelves also. My sister had these growing up and we just kind of got some of his favorite items and books and that kind of stuff on there and some family photos and then some of his posters. He loves painter's tape or whatever so a lot of the things in the room are put up with painter's tape. Uh, then we avoid holes in, holes in the wall and maybe his changing interest but he loves it so um, it really doesn't matter like when a kid um, you know, you think about like, this is how he's going to use the room. Like he's going to have the little Lego toy and he's going to have painter's tape everywhere and things are going to be messy. Um, it's not a picture perfect room. It's not a Pinterest room. And a lot of parents don't want that for their children. It's not reasonable <laughs> to have that. But uh, anyway, we love it. We love especially this red wall. Um, again, you can see it right there. And in that contrast, so probably in her other son's room, she's going to do that same base wood color and then a different accent in his favorite color. So it kind of ties the two areas together. The boys share a bathroom and it kind of gives some cohesiveness to the house, but also allows them a little bit of their individual personalities. All right. Thanks so much.